I am live, I think. No sound, no noise. All right. Got to be a little bit quiet because there are people around. I'm on a trail here and we'll just wait for everybody to get here. I know there's, I hope, can everybody hear me? I'm trying to be, uh, Hey there, I'm trying to be quiet. Yes. Hey, I'm trying to be quiet because there are people in this valley right now. I did get set up. Oh, my phone is slipping. Oh no. Phone is on the ground. Phone is on the ground, guys. I don't really have a tripod or nothing, so it's just balanced up on a on a branch there. Okay. Alright. I think I think that works. So while we wait for people to, to log on here, I need to thank some people, of course. I haven't, I think I edited the wrong video uh, last time and I didn't get the list of people up. That'll be in a video that uh, I'm doing on this one to thank people for sponsoring. Step two, when you're in the forest, is uh, a beer. So uh, we're gonna, oh, I, I don't think I'll get caught. I hope not, but we're going to play by the rules this time. The biggest problem that you can do in the forest that they don't like is if you have a fire or the, the woods in the city, they don't like you to have a fire, but we're not going to be doing any of that tonight. We're just going to cook a little and hunker down, relax. I don't know how long the live stream here is going to go because I, I'm just on the cell phone battery. I don't know how the cell service actually is here. I'll show you what I got set up here in the back. That is, that's the hammock. That, mm, I needed that cold beer. It was a long hike down here, guys. I am not in the best of shape. So what I got here, is the usual, usual hammock setup, and I've got it tied onto a sturdy birch tree on this side and on the other side whoop, there was a little worse for wear spruce but that should do I've got the wraps around the trees so we don't cause any unnecessary damage to the bark of the tree I'm gonna try and balance this here this was my original hunker down shirt that I made with iron-ons it is failing Okay, hello to everybody, and yeah, I think, I don't know how to respond. I'm going to try to respond to whatever I can see. I'm going to see, anybody done a live stream on a phone before? Top chat. Oh, it says, it says top chat, I guess. So if it thinks it's spam, it won't let a message through. Yes, I can read that. Uh, I do not have a Patreon. Um, I, uh, I don't know how to make anybody a moderator. I'm learning, guys. <laughs> so, live makes it weird. Yeah, it does. Anyways, okay. I'm going to just show you down by the river. And we're going to... Uh, we're going to set up uh, a few things here. So... This is the trail. Took a little bit of bushwhacking to actually get to this area here. And that's, uh, that's the view right out the doorstep. There's uh, some nice homes up there. And so I'm right back up here. This is where I'm camping out for the night. And yeah, I did have to lug this big thing with me because I couldn't find my small portable charger. Anyways, rock and roll. Oh, thanks for all the, the nice comments, guys. I, uh, YouTube takes 40% of super chat money. Oh, I'm not worried about super chats, guys. Don't, uh, don't send anything like that. Uh, I just, uh, wanted to get a video up because I promised every Thursday that I'm going to be doing some videos. And I know you're asking about dinner. Of course, 
I saw Brooks Alberta on there. I'm just making some burgers and I brought one of those little stoves that runs with the isobutane. It's a little easier to, yes, be quiet. I got my phone on um, do not disturb. So that's good. Normally I have beautiful wife with me to moderate the comments or to just let me know who to answer and that. So I'm gonna try to do my best here. So we're going to, oh, I would fish, but I wouldn't eat them out this river. Oh, hey from Edmonton, Jay. Okay. Yeah, there's some, somebody right up the trail there. Somebody's right down at the river. Gotta be quiet, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. That's very kind of you. But, yeah, somebody's swimming a dog down there. Yeah, dogs are everywhere around here. Yes, so, anybody having a beer right now? Cheers. Yeah, I have, I have good fans, guys, but we're just... How's the volume anyways? Can you guys actually hear? I'm trying to keep it low. It's gonna be better at night when everybody goes around, but I'm not gonna go too long with this because nobody likes like a three hour live stream, but I just wanted to get something up and take you guys along on this. Oh, crazy neighbors, weed. He's got, I don't know if he smokes weed, who knows? Crazy neighbor. But I'm going to wander down to the river and just act like I'm not camping here and see what the deal is down there. And I want to see if I can see the camp from down there. Okay, let's go guys. It's a beautiful day though. Gel fuel from, I was at Canadian Tire today. Sorry, I'm just responding to the comments that I can, uh, that I can catch. I was at Canadian Tire, which is something we have in Canada. That's what the camp looks like from out here. Yeah, I was looking for one of those gel things they put in tiki torches. And they had none in stock. It was all seasonal. So I had to go without any of that. But okay. Yeah, Canadian Tire in Canada. It's uh, hi Las Vegas, hi Australia. Okay, do we have the right time zone? I think so. I will let it uh, go a little bit longer. Uh, meh, whatever. Holy moly. I'm out of shape, guys. We are gonna walk up on this side. Then I'm gonna start cooking up a little hamburger. And, anyway. Another big reason that I don't want to be spotted out here is Edmonton has a problem with a River Valley flasher right now. And I don't need any questioning from authorities. Okay. This side here. 
be pretty sweet to have a cameraman or a woman. This is the main trail here, so there's no way, no way to see from this side. Awesome. Just gonna head back down here. So, people have asked about... Sorry, guys. Sorry, I hope that's not a... I hope that's not a continuing feature. I'm gonna secure this up a little bit better. Okay, that's better. Anyway, people have asked about that hammock. Sets up nice and smooth. I'm not paid to say this, by the way. I got this years ago out of pocket to Hennessy Expedition. The asymmetrical means that hammock lies straight like this and you sleep off in an angle like that so that you can actually stretch out flat without getting a sag in your back. So, all right. Yeah, the flasher, the River Valley flasher, it's a real thing. They've released a picture. It looks nothing like me, just so everybody knows, but yeah. Probably there's a heightened presence in the river valley here looking around for any bad actors so. I also have to give a nice shout out to a friend of mine who For my birthday got me a little bit of scotch so I've had this in the freezer a week since my birthday I'm gonna take a little swig right now. Mm. Nothing better than a little secret scotch in the forest when you're urban stealth camping. Yum, yum. If anybody lives in Edmonton, don't tell on me if you know where I am. Okay. I'm gonna show this little stove here and what's happening. And that is a little swig. Hold on. All this stuff I got is uh, like gear wise. Amazon, I just bought the cheapest thing with the best reviews. I don't have links to any of this stuff, guys. cheapest possible cook set that they make from uh, oh thank you Sean I, I think that was Sean sorry it's comments are scrolling a little fast here much appreciated Some burgers. I normally forget something on every trip if people are new to this channel but this time I actually remembered my backpacking stove, this thing. People were asking why I don't use a jet boil. And I don't know, I got one of, one of these things. It goes on to butane. Everything's coming up Steve today. Oh no. Okay, one of the secrets to camping is that you need to find a flat spot to set your stove up on where nobody can see if you're urban stealth camping. Okay. 
Here we go. Flatten out a little spot here. That should be good. One of these uh, grippy tripod things and trying to, oh, great. Look at that. Leg broke right off of the thing. Unbelievable. I'm trying to get this to hold the phone while I do things. So. Stuff on the camera there. This is probably gonna be a pretty boring live stream. To be honest, it's easier to edit things together to make things more interesting, but. Okay, I'll keep the phone as still as possible. And there's a lot of geese out here. And a lot of people. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat these geese. That would draw way too much attention to myself in the forest. And I prefer burgers to geese. But in Canada, there's no shortage of Canada geese. This is my tripod chair too. Folds right up in the backpack. It's awesome for stealth camping. And I don't have a link for that. So. Let's see. There's a lighter around here somewhere. It's uh, burgers for dinner. These people down in the river valley got no clue. There's a live stream happening right in the background. The perfect crime. That's gonna be awesome. I had another, I had another little camp stove like this, except it was way too loud. It was one of those ones that sounds like a rocket ship blasting off, so I didn't want to use that. Holy moly. Look at how cheap these pans are. This, this cheapo cook set. I haven't really used it and it's dented up already and yeah. Let's see, where's the where's the stove? Holy crap, that's not keeping a low profile. Okay, we got an unpredictable stove. And I, I know there's the whole rocket stove thing and using all this little dead wood and putting it in there, but that's the big ticket is lighting the fire in the river valley here. So, stove is tested, seems to work okay. Just like so. Here we go. Let me get the stove. That stove came from a place in Edmonton called Camper's Village. And I go in there once in a while and it's, they got a good assortment of products, but it's really a local store. They probably have similar stuff like Cabela's or, I'm not sure. Holy moly, 727 people watching and none of these people out there have a clue. Well, we're gonna get a burger going. Yes. Okay, there's dogs here. Oh, that's a squirrel. The dog was, uh... oh, thank you, Dawn. Um... dog up the trail there somewhere for sure for sure all right delicious Canadian beef mm, it's gonna be tasty some things people don't know about me 
is that I only eat fresh baked buns, fresh from the bakery this day. So that is. Oh, thanks, Larry. Uh, thanks for thanks for the kind words, everybody. I think if, I think they've been good so far. If I get busted, I'm gonna run. No, I'll just pay the ticket, I guess. That's uh, the ticket fund, <laughs> not necessarily the beer come. The beer fund, just the ticket fund. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna find my flipper. I got an actual proper flipper. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna find that. Oh, other fact, a can of bear spray. Because it's technically not impossible to find a bear in these woods, but there's other threats in these woods that I should be prepared for on four legs or two, including the River Valley Flasher. This flipper is so cool. It's out of a jet boil kit. Snaps together. Damn. Flipper. Yeah. This cook set, uh, I think it works like a handle. I don't know. Somebody will tell me. I just kind of go out not really knowing what I'm doing and Google as I go. Hmm. It seems to work okay. Anyway, okay, while that's cooking, I am going to focus on the comments and try to answer some questions. No, let's see, CW in Canada. Oh, let's see. Guns, guns, guns. It's, in Canada, you can carry around a gun if you're going hunting and it's, uh, Oh, thanks, Big Papa. That, that definitely helps the ticket fund if I get a ticket tonight. Uh, we can carry guns, but if you're going hunting, and it's got to be a long gun, no pistols, nothing like that. It's pretty restrictive. you got to declare them going through a provincial park or a national park or anything like that, as far as I know. And I don't have, uh, I don't have uh, the firearms. We call it a PAL here, a possession and acquisition license. I am looking into it, though, so... Oh, I don't take mushrooms. That's nothing but trouble going out to a forest on mushrooms by yourself. Thanks, Justin. That's gonna help out when I get caught and I gotta pay a ticket, that's for sure. So, yeah, the guns, maybe in the future, but right now I've, I've never had too much trouble with it. Scar on my neck, people ask about this. It, uh, I had neck surgery when I was uh, young. Oh. Next cactus, it looks like. Uh, yeah, I had, I had, uh, my neck was like swollen out big time, and yeah, I got a big neck. And thanks, Bob. Holy moly, I'm gonna be able to pay a big ticket here tonight, guys. Uh, but yeah, I had to get a cyst removed in my neck, and it left a scar. So, and I'm not butt chugging a beer. Stop asking me to butt chug a beer. That's uh, disgusting, and it's not my channel. That's more of a Patreon thing. So. Camping, kill beer. Holy moly. I'm gonna check this burger, guys. <laughs> I wish I had bacon. I'm not even doing breakfast in the morning. I'm just gonna head up the hill and get breakfast from like McDonald's or something. Look how wretched this pan is, guys. Look at that.
Lesson learned. Better cook fish. But the real joy doesn't come from cooking an elaborate meal out in the forest. It comes from hunkering down right by the river. Slight risk of getting caught. I can hear people right now. Oh, thanks, Dermody. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. That's, uh, sorry guys. My comments are going too fast. I can't see what's happening here. 889 people. Thanks, guys. Uh, I appreciate you watching me in the forest, ready to get busted at any moment. And I, I don't know, what can I say? <laughs> Smoke, bud. Jeez, it is legal in Canada, guys, but I run a family camping channel and I can't spark up a spliff right on camera while I'm already breaking a couple of laws here camping in the river valley. So. If anybody wonders what kind of a camera I'm using, it's this thing here. It's a Sony A6700. And it, I got this Rode Video Go thing with the wind, so the dead cat windsock on it. Because I've had a lot of trouble with audio and wind in the, uh, in the whole adventure in camping. Slow cooking a berg. Thank you, Kay. Um, thank you, everybody. It's oh, that's an expensive camera. Good, landed, landed up properly. Anyway, got to be careful with the camera. I'm gonna walk. Actually, uh, beautiful wife tonight is at home because I don't want to bring her out on these illegal adventures in the forest. And there's enough to enough to go wrong already. Uh, without the both of us getting busted camping somewhere we shouldn't be camping. Hmm. Dogs everywhere around here. And they're ready to reveal me. Almost a thousand people watching. Yeah, actually, there's a lot of people watching the live stream. Crazy neighbors probably watching the live stream. Um, I, I flipped the burger already. It's, uh, I got it on low because they're like a pre-frozen, pre-made burger. But, uh, oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Katie. Thank you very much, everybody. Holy moly. This, uh, again, for anybody that's just tuned in. Oh, sorry, I know it's probably not very fun to watch when I'm moving the camera around, but this, uh, this hammock here. doubles nicely as a chair and I can get my view of the river out that way and the cooking area below so thank you Tim I am not gonna get not gonna get uh, bankrupted by a, a ticket tonight if I get one for camping here but uh, Sven, thank you, class act. Oh my. Canada, do we have Bigfoot? Holy moly, never tie a granny knot. So, there guys, back to Burger Town. Check this out. Bigfoot. I was camping this summer for quite a while and I camped close to Vale Mount. And there is this Bigfoot sighting there there's a fairly serious one and it was reported in the news this guy signed an affidavit and it was like right up the road from where we were camping that there was this bigfoot sighting and i really wanted to head up with my tent and go camp right beside where this bigfoot sighting was of course that was like years ago that was in the 60s or something but I don't necessarily believe in Bigfoot. It would be pretty cool. A thousand people watching, unbelievable. Would be pretty cool if Bigfoot was around, but I have never, thank you, Michael, I believe it was. I have not, uh, I've not seen a Bigfoot. I did have one experience though. 
here's the Bigfoot experience that I've had. I lived on Vancouver Island in my RV for a few years, back in around 2012, and I parked at this campsite that was right beside a dam, and it was a free campground, and there was nobody there. And I'm hunkered down in my motorhome, and I had a big roaring fire outside. And in the middle of the night, I hear a smack on the side of my RV. And I was watching The Simpsons on my laptop. I didn't think anything of it. But I looked outside and there was nobody there. And uh, I hunker back down again, then bang again on the side of the RV. And I got out with uh, my flashlights to see what was out there. And I could not see anything. That night it actually snowed and I was looking for footprints in the morning but I could, not, uh, I could not see anything, but that's the only thing I could think of other than an angry mountain man that lived in the forest that came and throw rocks at me, or an owl dive bombing the RV, which has happened before, is a Bigfoot, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't believe in Bigfoot though. It would be very cool to see one, but I don't believe in it. That sizzle in the smell is probably gonna give me away. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Smoke crack, any aliens? You want your money back? Oh, geez. All right. Mosquito situation this time of year is zero. There is no issues really of mosquitoes. It's cooled off way too much, hence, we call it a toque in Canada, wool cap, whatever you may want to, whatever you may want to call it. Um, I do have hunkered down shirts for sale. They're through Teespring, but it's really expensive, so it took me ages. Unrehearsed. I'm live. Okay, sorry. People have been calling on my phone. Uh, anyways, it's taking a strange turn, guys. It's not camping with Steve unless I throw a lot of cheese on that, right? Oh, no politics talk on my channel, guys. I'll leave politics at home and we're just gonna camp in the forest. Greetings to New Jersey. Mm -mm. The sun is just setting now in Edmonton. Edmonton, Alberta is where I'm at. And yeah, camping has no politics. Let's, no, no more politics. More cheese. Okay, who wants to see me put more cheese on that burger? I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Say when, I'm putting more cheese on here. More cheese, now we're talking. This is gonna be like glued onto the pan with just charred cheese, yum. Okay. There we go. That's a decent helping of cheese. I do have to thank everybody. Obviously most people here are probably subscribers or you've really got a strange algorithm popping me up for a live stream. But uh, yeah, the amount of subscribers, uh, I. I didn't even start paying attention till last year when I went to school and I hit 10,000 subscribers and I was like, oh, maybe I should start uploading a little more regularly. There's a bicycle up the trail. All right. The 
yeah, so I started uploading a little more regularly, and uh, and then then things went awesome. So thanks, guys. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you, Big Papa Willie. That'll help with my ticket, because I don't know. I can only do this for so long in the city before... Actually, I got a message from a peace officer that works for the city, and he subscribes to me. He kind of likes what I'm doing. Actually, he, yeah, he, he offered me some... Uh, some fire, uh, those uh, fireless meal heaters and stuff. And I asked him, I said, how bad am I gonna get in trouble when I get caught doing this? And he says, most of the guys he knows on the force would uh, probably just think it's cool and maybe tell me to move along. So. That cheese is gonna take some time to melt, guys. More beer. You want to see me stumbling around in the forest in the middle of nowhere that I don't know where I am? Splash beer in the pan. Thank you. That's a fantastic plan. There we go. A little beer in the pan. That thing was a bicycle. Just on the trail. Splash beer in the pan. More cheese. Yes, drunk Steve. Guys, this is a family channel. I can't get slaughtered in the forest. Okay. There is somebody just down the trail there. Hmm. Thank you, Curtis. I am not going to be in trouble with the police tonight. I have actually... There's been enough generous donations that I could pay for a ticket now, so maybe I should be a little more brazen. Now nah, I'm gonna still be pretty careful. Beer makes everything better. Beer makes everything better. Let's see. This is my view right now out of the river. And the homeless man talking. Uh, well, basically, the difference between camping and homelessness is how much you spend on it. Um, oh, wow. Thank you very much, uh, Raptor Red. Holy moly. I can't thank you guys enough for these donations. That boat I'm building, um, I don't know if you guys have seen that. I'm going to be building a camping raft, and I figure I can get around a little bylaw about camping in the city by plopping that in the river and setting up a little tent cabin on it, drop an anchor, and due to donations, due to generous donations I received, oh, thank you, Pimpity Pimpster 99 um, Due to generous donations, I've actually managed to have, uh, to get enough, sorry, I managed to get enough material together uh, that crazy neighbor and I are building this raft and we've got it was just gonna be uh, pallets and now we've got a, a whole bunch of stuff so it's gonna be oh, thank you Chris and Joseph holy moly and Blizzard FBV Jeez, you guys pirate in Saskatchewan well that's the whole plan is to have a big hunker down flag on it drop anchor we could be right in the middle of the city and all these fancy mansions, it's no problem. We can just camp on the river. It's a federal waterway. So if anybody knows the specifics of Alberta law and municipalities, let me know all about that. But yum, yum. You guys can't smell that, but that smells good. So the temperature tonight, I think, is going to be down to about 7 degrees or something. And by the way, I am, I'm doing a proper video for this and I'm going to give shout outs to uh, people that have been able to make donations. And I know times are tough everywhere and I do appreciate it. It uh, does keep me going. But the, uh, that almost spilled. Hmm. Lexitus, class act. 
Eric Brown, unbelievable. You guys are really, really making a lot of crazy camping possible, Kelly. Okay. Oh, that's a good looking burger. Cheese has got to melt a little bit more. National Park. If I was in a national park, I would probably cost more than a ticket camping in the city. Those are expensive. Uh, yeah, I I put my phone on to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, more cheers. Oh, yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Blizzard. Cheers, everyone. I want to see if I can get my hammock more in the picture there. Sorry, this is... Yeah, this is what I'm trying to attach it to. So it's just by sheer luck that any of this is actually even remote. <laughs> I'm, I'm obviously not Joe, guys. But Joe is a good guy. He does, uh, he does good work. He does, uh, he does uh, quite good work out in the forest. I respect the guy. And so for anybody who hasn't had a cheers yet, Cheers. Oh, yeah. So, that's looking pretty good. All right. Let that burger cool down just a little bit. And no Brautwurst, is that how you say it? Brautwurst, or... Oktoberfest is coming soon, if it's not already here. 22nd, I think. But, having good fun out here, and there is somebody getting a little closer to the camp. So, we are going to... Just be a little quiet here. The majority of camping is actually, oh, hey, St. Albert. Hey, from the River Valley in Edmonton. Majority of camping is actually very boring and relaxing. So I can edit together a whole night into, uh, thanks, Ida. Uh, I can edit a whole night into about a 15 minutes usually or half an hour or something like that. And it's, uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good thing but okay I'm gonna try to hold this as steady as possible while we go check things out uh -huh. there's people right across the river on the other side that's what I was hearing. And of course, yeah, homeless people camp here. It's been known to happen, but I know the area well enough that I can avoid the areas they're likely to be. I don't need to be stumbling in on a homeless camp. All right. Mm. Burger time. All that cheese, um, everybody said go, go, go with the cheese. That's burnt, burnt onto the pan pretty good. It's breaking my spatula actually. People have mentioned magic mushrooms, but I don't recommend magic mushrooms in the middle of a forest when you're trying to lay low. These things could get a little things could get a little out of control, probably. Oh yes. Thank you, Noel. 
Um, I will keep on camping. There's no, no shortage of camping coming. I'm not gonna make you guys sit and watch me eat a burger. I'm gonna have a few bites. Next legitimate camp out, that's going to be on the river. Mm, I do not smoke. The occasional cigar, but I uh, want to be around for a while. So that is, that's the way that goes. And uh, next legitimate one, we're going to be on the river. We're launching that raft and we're going to head down the river to a lot of islands along the way. And between here and within the next few hours, there is an assortment of islands that we're just gonna pull the raft up on. Sometimes we're gonna make a big shelter out of the driftwood or whatever. And that's all free camping, which is awesome. It's uh, uh, what brand of cigar? I like a fine Cuban cigar or a Captain Black or something. It doesn't matter, but just occasionally, like on my birthday, Reed actually lives in, um, he lives in Edmonton, and I do meet up with him occasionally, but uh, I'm married now, so between marry, being married and camping and building rafts with Crazy Neighbor, my life is pretty full. Mm. Man, oh man. Mm. Yum. Guys, this is delish. Of course, being in the forest makes it all better. I don't mind IPAs. You saw a dog behind me? I don't mind IPAs, but I find all craft beers have just started to go so hoppy. Like, I like enjoying a nice, refreshing, crisp lager without, you know, an overpowering hoppiness to it. Um, next 30 plus minute video is going to be coming up next week, actually. Um, crazy neighbors at home actually working on the raft right now with Captain John, who's another guy who had uh, graciously gave me a little scotch for this trip and for my birthday. So, right on Captain John. And they're probably watching the garage right now or working on the raft, I don't know. So... I'm going to uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna run this live stream for I don't want to have like hour-long live streams and really I'm just rambling to the camera in front of a hammock but I think oh I should have put a little scotch in the burger no that's a that's scotch abuse but Boondocking dog. That is Reed's dog. The dog's name is Balmers, and Reed still has Balmers. Balmers is up, up and doing well, and um, and and still at it. So, hmm. I had a good laugh. The uh, the other time I was out here camping, and it wasn't too far from here. It was down the river a little bit that way, and this boat comes by in the morning and I'm like peeking up and it was the police boat it says police right on the side of it and I'm like that would have been the perfect shot to get on camera but I think uh, probably I'm a little more paranoid than I need to be about the police showing up or the park rangers I'm going until it's dark well it won't be too long until it's dark here but if I'm gonna go any longer, I have to plug in my phone. And uh, yes, I do ice fish in the winter. I have been trying to get out and film it a few times, but I gotta get a few things. I don't have any snowshoes, etc. And a lot of those, a lot of those places you go, you have to trek in on a snowshoe and hand auger. And oh, that flasher better not come out here in the forest or. Yeah, that'd be pretty awkward if the River Valley Flasher showed up. 
And the people from Edmonton are, they know what I'm talking about. It's been all over the news. And that just makes me, I'm glad they put a picture of the guy up because that makes me look suspicious going into the woods with a video camera and stuff. Like, unbelievable. Give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna plug in the phone. Another thing, another thing everybody's mentioned is a red light at night to keep everything a little less conspicuous. This tent flashlight I got, it's got a normal brightness, secondary brightness, and it's got a small red light or orange. I'm colorblind, so it's got, and it's got a little light that works just perfect. But given that I'm colorblind, I can't see very well in the red light, but I'm gonna plug in the phone, guys. I've made a decision on my channel. Uh, I get emails all the time of people asking me to review a product, etc. And I'm not doing it anymore. Um, I am not a salesman. I don't want to be. But I'm just reminded of that because I did get this from Jackery to review it. But I'm not doing that. Turned them down. A few of them offering some nice stuff, but I'm not gonna sell out, guys. I am not gonna sell out. I think that's, uh, I think that's charging. We will see. Anyway, the geese honking in the distance. My, my night light set up here for the night. Whatever. Crummy trees around here. There we go. That's a good tree. That'll work. Squirrels. <clears throat> go until it's dark. Well, I was planning, actually, I started with this to film another adventure. And sure, I'll go until it's dark. You know what? I probably got enough enough battery power why not a lot of people will never possibly ever watch a two and a half hour live stream after this is done but yeah i heard that that's a that's a squirrel somewhere it's a bull squirrel they're venomous and i ain't eating the squirrel two hour live streams do you watch two hour live streams even after they've aired like I guess. I don't watch a lot of YouTube, strangely. My wife, beautiful wife, she watches a lot of YouTube. And she's actually educating me on all this YouTube stuff. And she'll say, sometimes she'll say, Steve, you have like 68,000 subscribers. I follow people with less than that. I'm like, right on. Um, <laughs> go Oilers. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the data. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got six gigs or a 10 gig data plan. They've started to come out with unlimited data plans, but after you hit 10 gigs, it slows you right to a crawl. So you don't want to, that won't make for a good live stream. I wear lots of underwear. I wear a good pair. There, easy. You guys, come on, keep the questions PG. This is a nice, relaxing camping adventure in the forest and there's people around there. oh somebody left a shirt over there great it's probably the flashers look at that right up there somebody's left a, a jacket or something i can hear cyclists right up the trail right up the trail i don't think it's a crime scene guys but it could be the flasher's shirt or something. Really gonna keep a low profile with the whole flasher situation around here. Kinda keeping an eye over my shoulder because the trail is right up there. I am right-handed and colorblind and scared of heights and I don't like 
fast rides and speeding and stuff. We went out on a river trip. I don't smoke, but I enjoy occasional cigar. Hello, Ontario. See, I Joe Robinet. Uh, I, I he's one of the few channels I follow. Except I just a few reasons I don't watch too much YouTube is one, I don't want to be inadvertently influenced by another channel and seem to be copying them. And two, if I got enough spare time to do something, I'd probably just go camping. Uh, yeah, back in the day, I, I used to smoke, I think, in the boondocking era when I was living in the motorhome and, and that. Um, weed? My guys, this is a YouTube channel here. I'm not going to get into that type of thing. But, uh, yeah. Cocaine. I don't do cocaine, man. <laughs> but I'm just chilling with the subscribers. Uh, lots of Ohio people. Have you ever encountered aggressive people? I have never encountered really aggressive people. Um, the closest, I used to do some camping out on the river where I'd put in in my raft and I'd float along, camp on an island, then I'd get off at the other, at the closest road. And then I'd have to walk back to where I left my truck. And then I got this angry note from a farmer one day that says, you're camping, uh, the private property written all over it. And I said, oh boy, great. So it's been a constant struggle to try and get away from the private property, away from the city, so that I can enjoy a comfortable camping trip without spending two hours in the car and $100 on gas, etc. So I finally had enough of it, and I just started camping in the river valley here. And sorry, guys, I, I know there's a lot of comments. I'm just on my phone here, so I'm trying to... <laughs> trying to no snakes in Alberta that uh, that are in this part of Alberta so some people have said that you know don't leave your don't leave your uh, shoes outside the tent overnight or the hammock but I I'm not worried around here I just shake it out there's no venomous spiders or uh, or anything like that those colorblind glasses I've been tempted to get them it is over in an hour. I was going to close it off in an hour, but there's people still watching. I guess I'll still go. But uh, I was I was tempted to grab those colorblind glasses. I've heard they... Yes, I am actually staying the night too. I've heard they don't cure colorblindness. Like you won't be able to pass a test or nothing like that. But they are useful for, uh, I guess, seeing colors more distinctly. So... When I'm editing the videos, I don't even bother trying to do color correction or anything. I just hit the auto button to try and make all the colors look okay on iMovie is what I use. So, rats in Alberta. That's another good thing. The Everybody's waiting for the cops. I am too. That would make it quite the live stream. But maybe they're watching now. Rats in Alberta, they put in a rat program funded by farmers to eradicate the province of rats. So there are no Norway rats is what I think the common rat is. There's none of them in Alberta. The odd one will come in on a freight train and then they have a rat response team that comes out and eradicates the rats and quarantines everything. So there's no rats running underfoot or anything like that. Joe, yeah, I should... Uh, one day when I'm famous enough, I should do a collab with Joe. Just our own different styles of camping. I think that'd be fun. And the scar on the neck. Uh, I answered a little earlier. That's, uh, I had a neck cyst when I was younger. So, it, uh, I had surgery when I was 18 and that was 20 years ago and I've still got the scar. On people have been calling me the white big neck because I got a big neck. Like that guy that was the meme. So, yes, now you are camping with Steve. Mm. I'm not the River Valley Flasher. They've got a picture of him. He does not look like me. So, fellow HVAC technician. Yeah. HVAC work is kind of thankless sometimes, fixing people's furnaces. Dinner, dinner, dinner. What's for dinner? The hamburger. I already cooked one up. Oh, that's, that's what's happening. Probably some people 
no, I've never been caught yet, but it's only a matter of time, really, to be honest. Mm. Mm hmm. Forgot how hungry I was. Pasta. People bug me about how I say pasta. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting a little cooler out here right now. Um, the ticket for camping out here it depends on the ticket. There's three different tickets. Pasta. The three different tickets if I get caught. One is camping. Actually, they go so far as to say, even during the daytime, I can't set up a hammock. They say in the, the urban parkland, which is what this is, you can't set up any temporary shelter or anything like that. So that's the $100 ticket. The next ticket is the open liquor ticket. But I guess there's no way to tell from the video if this is actually delicious Glenfettich 12 years single malt scotch or iced tea or something in there. So nobody has any way of knowing from the video. The next ticket is the big one. That's $500 for green screen, come on. The next ticket is the uh, $500 one if I start a fire out here. So, I don't want to have any problems. Masting on your ductwork. Well, guys, I don't do a lot of green screen, come on. I have wherewithal. Like, this is some George Lucas stuff if a green screen that. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, duct tape. I'm gonna eat my burger, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna have a bite. I hate Rush. I'm just gonna say that I'm Canadian, but I hate Rush. I don't mind Tragically Hip. I like Tragically Hip, but can't handle that Rush. I'm just not a Rush guy. Don't like Getty Lee's voice. Uh, the music is dynamic, but... I don't know. Go pick up a rocket. Okay. You guys. <laughs> I don't know. Can you see anything moving here? Rock. There's no rocks in the background. There's a twig there. Not a green screen. But if I if I knew how to use a green screen that good, I could uh I could easily just film a video every single day like I was camping in some really remote spot. It would be great. <sighs> There's always skeptics out there, guys, but that uh, keeps everybody honest, right? <laughs> Green screen with props. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, I would not be a mid-level YouTuber if I had uh, green screen skills like that, so... Oh, my pants are muddy too. I've been sitting in the mud, trying to keep it at a decent, decent height here. Sound and video quality good. That is good to hear, because I never know if I'm gonna have good service here. I kind of, I promised to do this live stream because I didn't get a video film for Thursday, which I promised to have a video on Thursday. But, I had no idea if I'd actually have cell service when I got down here. And thankfully I do. Got a bunch of bars. Wife did not kick old Steve out. I'm just crazy. Actually, my beautiful wife does insist that, uh, that I, I film and upload pretty regularly. How many beers do I have to go left? Oh. One plus whatever fell out of the eight pack ring as I was trying to show off my forest beers. My burner's still on? No, it's off. These things are great and I brought a, a super, whoa, thanks Chris, you're a class act. You're gonna really Save my butt if the cops come down here and give me a ticket, which is a possibility. Always a possibility. 
Ah, oh, the eight pack of forest beers. I had to leave crazy neighbors. They're working on the raft tonight. I was supposed to help them out with that. So they're probably watching right now in the garage thinking, I wish he was here helping us instead of drinking beer in the forest. Okay, somebody's out there. This is what you guys are waiting for. Just somebody on the trail. Good. Somebody out on the trail. Hello, me. Okay. Nothing to worry about. Everything's gonna be okay. That hammock. That hammock I got. It's it's a Hennessy hammock. I picked that up in town at a place called. That squirrel is gonna keep me up all night. A place called, in Canada we have MEC or MEC, Mountain Equipment Co-op. It's just a normal, a normal camping store type of thing. I don't know what they'd have similar in the States or abroad, but yeah, it's uh, the Hennessy Asymmetrical Hammock. Mm. Bigfoot. There is no Bigfoot in the city. There could possibly be a bear. Oh, thank you, Ginger. Thank you for support from a fellow Albertan. That's very nice of you. Yeah. Bigfoot, I'm not scared of. A bear is possible in the city. They do come into the city. Cougars, same thing. Lynx could happen. Bobcat, all the time. But the biggest thing I worry about is getting stabbed by somebody with a syringe that tries to steal my camera during the middle of a live stream. So that's why I carry bear spray for the bears. No, it's not a green screen, guys. Never seen, uh, seen a UFO. I do tend to believe that there could be, it's a big universe, right? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but I've never seen any evidence myself. I'm afraid. And let's see. Need some, I do need mods for my chat. Normally I have a beautiful wife out here with me, but uh, I don't know how to even make any mods or anything. But yeah, it is the people. Let's step out here, guys. I gotta put on my jacket. Tripod seat. Oh, that doesn't work. Well, it is not dark here yet. Getting the same as tight. Yes, Justin. Um, it's not dark here yet because the time is. Oh, my phone is used for recording this. I don't know what time it is. Probably 7.30? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the mountain time zone here. In the summer, it doesn't. the sun doesn't even set here until like 10.30 at night. And it's back up at 5 in the morning. It's ridiculous, guys. Absolutely absurd. I gotta lose some weight. Holy crap. I'm gonna get back to my burger for a sec here, guys. Crack a beer. 
That's the best idea I've heard all night. Step three. It's another beer. And again, thank you to everybody who's donated to the beer fund or donated to anything here. It uh, definitely makes it possible. And thank you, Tim. Uh, I believe that was Tim here. Yes, Tim. Thank you. Um, you guys are making it hard for me to not make videos, so they're going to keep on coming. This is the first time at this spot. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Oh, EPS is getting a call. Come on. I hope I didn't put my location on this live stream. That would be a stupid thing. Hmm. It gives me an option to tag this location on. My location, my location is on. Hmm. No, I don't know. Bear spray. Question about bear spray. I've never used it. I practiced on an old, um, an old cylinder or canister. It was expired. You're supposed to practice with them. Pop off that, push that down, and spray it right at the charging bear, a little bit in front of it. Gotta be careful with that. Thank you, Justin, for for the. Excellent donation. Oh, drunk in public. No, I'm far from drunk, guys. I got a bit of a tolerance. But that's not the ticket. The ticket is open liquor. So yes, that is trouble. But just a risk I am. Area 51 tomorrow. I can't get to Area 51. I did say I was attending, though, because I thought it was funny. Carry bear spray with the safety off? Unbelievable. Bear spray is the easiest thing I can carry around with me versus a gun in Canada. And, uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, 44 mag. I can't carry 44 mag around in Canada. Actually, any pistol I can't carry it around. I. I would probably consider it, I guess, if it was easy to do here, but it's definitely not. There's two exceptions to carry a handgun in Canada. One is on a gold claim that you own, you can carry a handgun with you. Two is on a trap line. If you've got a trap line, you can carry a gun on your trap line for protection, because obviously there's very dangerous animals out there that can suddenly charge. But those are the two exceptions to this gun law. Not Canadians, no. We don't have a Second Amendment in Canada. It's a different country. Holy moly, Troy. Well, thank you so much. Uh, don't know what to say. I guess I'll keep camping and hunkering down. That was amazing. Uh, cheers to Troy, everyone. <laughs> So how many, how I am in Canada, how many people here are from Canada? I, I know there's some people have mentioned they're from Edmonton and there's not a lot of Edmonton YouTubers out there. So it's kind of strange to see or meet any other, uh, other YouTubers out there from Edmonton. Right on Edmonton guys. It's uh, uh love to everybody all over. The country all over the world I got a few messages that people wanted to come camping in the forest secretly with me on this live stream but they live where in the middle of the night there so it's I kind of I'm uh, thanks Ron uh, I kind of limited to where I can where I can camp because of uh, or when I can do these live streams because when it, when the Sun is out unfortunately I don't have a green screen so that would be the dead giveaway if it was at uh, the sun never set. But, uh, wow. 
Everybody's from Netherlands. Holy mo... What time is it in the Netherlands right now? I can't believe it, guys. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. This is like... I'm just eating a burger ready to get busted by the police here. But, uh... I guess it makes it a little more interesting than just camping in the mountains in grizzly bear country. The police are a little more terrifying. I have a chance with a grizzly and the cops. I don't know. Not if they catch me out here with the with the flasher. The River Valley flasher. Unbelievable. Edmonton is in Alberta. You go straight north pretty much of Montana and that's that's where I am. New York City. Guys, I'm gonna keep these videos coming. There's uh, no way around it. And the sun is, the sun is setting quickly. The, the flashlight I have on here belies the fact that it's actually getting quite dark out here. And yeah, I was gonna grab one of those little tiki torch gel things, but they were all sold out where I was. Oh, thanks, Heat King. Sounds like, sounds like you're in the HVAC industry. I work on furnaces myself. So that's, uh, that would be a good name for, uh, for a furniture repair company. Sasquatch mating season. Oh, no. Guys, don't try and scare me. Um, if there's anything behind me or not. Yeah, I need mods. How do I do mods? How do I make somebody a mod? I'm just on my cell phone. Beer store is right up the road. Let's see. Super chat. I don't know how to make anybody a mod. I have to. I have to say. I got. Yeah. Mod. Fake. I don't know, guys. It's. It's getting dark. I'm gonna eat my burgers here. Things are gonna be pretty boring. But I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be filming. I'm gonna be filming more of this tonight and I'm gonna put up, uh, you know, I'm gonna be very careful where I'm at. I've gotta put my, yeah, get beautiful wife to, to mod. Stay on. Well, guys, I'll, I'll stay on, but, uh, you know, unbelievable the the support that everybody's shown to this video is just incredible guys um, I have no idea uh, <laughs> thank you guys uh, I'm gonna be on the river there's of course guys my winter camping is really what I like to do the best and that's that's what I do is just the winter camping aspect it's it was a limitation to begin with because I like camping. Winter comes. I used to live in Victoria. Oh, that was a cop for sure. But the road is a little far from where I am. Yeah, I used to live on the coast where it didn't snow. You could camp year round easily. And then I moved to Alberta. And here it does get like minus 40, which is the same in Celsius and Fahrenheit. That's where they both meet up. So I had to find a way to camp out here. And I've really taken a shine to it because there's uh well, thank you, Annika. Um, unbelievable. You guys are class ads. I can't, uh, I can't thank you guys enough for, for uh, supporting this channel and supporting my crazy things. Uh, and for ganging up on the trolls too. Thanks guys for that. Cause it, you know, it does get to me a little bit sometimes. And I try to, ignore the uh, ignore all the the bad comments and skim over them before I even read them usually but it is heartwarming if I see somebody as uh, somebody is actually uh, standing up to the bad comments so it's you guys are just the best what if my burgers still warm hmm hmm yeah You guys are awesome.
Wipe here. Oh. Let's see. I didn't kill that. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks, everybody. It's, uh... I'm gonna have to catch up on the comments and figure out how to make a, a mod on the future. I normally don't do these live streams, but that's, uh, that's the way it is tonight. Almost see my breath out here. Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's getting pretty, pretty chilly, guys. I'm up to 81, 82 minutes. Holy moly. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna call this thing closed, guys, uh, because I'm gonna have to curl up in my, in my hammock back there. Oh, wait, there's 954 people watching. Oh, man. Well, if there's people watching, if it dips under, like, 800 or 700 or something, then I'll, I'll close it down, but we could just, uh, we could just chill out here in the forest, and, uh, as long as people are watching, I guess I'll keep on chilling in the forest. Oh, you guys are amazing. I can't believe, uh, I can't believe the generosity, guys. And I can't believe that, uh, the new subscribers, I got a lot recently since I started to do this urban stealth camping. And it's, uh, it's really quite incredible. And so I don't want to let you guys down, but I also have older subscribers that have seen me through, you know, a little more crazy wilderness camping. So I'm going to do a balance to try to keep doing usual, a good mix of camping videos for everyone. 7.50 p.m. Yep. It's probably around there. Hmm. Unbelievable. Well, I'll get to take you guys up and show you the hammock anyway. We'll see. See what's happening here. The hammock. I don't have it set up yet. But... Please forgive the shakiness of my camera and the crappiness of my light. But, uh, yeah, I guess there's no real good way to show this while I'm trying to hold the phone. But my view from up here is the majestic North Saskatchewan River flowing through the city of Edmonton. I have my quaint little camp sitting area down there. There is this, um, this I just noticed. This is not my jacket. This is just kind of thrown here. Probably the River Valley Flasher. Like, it's really not a bad city. It sounds, when I, when I think of the River Valley Flasher that we have here, lurking around in the forest, it reminds me of the office, the, the Scranton Strangler. <laughs> we got this creep out in the forest, other than me. I try not to be a creep, I just keep to myself and a thousand other people that watch. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Bitcoin tips. Oh my. Yep, definitely need a moderator for these comments, so I'm just gonna, gonna enjoy a little more burger here. 908 people still watching, I don't know. 916. Oh, I was gonna go to bed, guys.
but uh, it's a duck. Mm. Thanks, real landscapes. Uh, much appreciated. Mm. Yeah, it's ducks out there. Mm. Well, I'm not gonna hunt the ducks. I don't like duck meat, anyways. Yeah, as long as uh, as long as there's no severe goose honking tonight, I should have a pretty good sleep. And if I pack up nice and early and hit the trail back home, I should not be detected. But never say never. Never say never. There, guys. Uh, Toby, I've heard Toby was the Scrant Strangler. That's the Office is what I watch instead of YouTube. I don't. I really don't watch YouTube. But well, uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for yeah, honking. Bigfoot. No Bigfoot, guys. There better not be any Bigfoot. Hmm. That floating contraption, I'm going to put a picture up on my Instagram, um, which I do have, and I'm learning how to use it. I've got uh, I'm Camping Steve, I think, on Instagram, and there's a link on my YouTube. And, uh, oh, hey, Real Landscapes, Parks and Rec. Um, I, I've been trying to get into that, but I... I really don't have a ton of free time to watch, to watch stuff, but yeah, Camping Steve on Instagram, and that's where I'll kind of keep everything, uh, the updates on when I'm not filming a video. That's probably the easiest, the easiest way to, to stay in, in touch with what's happening. Oh, there's all the, <laughs> thanks guys for following me on Insta. There's all the notifications popping up. Lesser Slave Lake. Now, there is a place I have not heard of in a while. I used to live fairly close to Slave Lake. I used to live in High Prairie, Alberta, which is right by Slave Lake. And I lived in McLennan, Alberta, which is close to Peace River. And I pretty well lived everywhere all over Western Canada. But, uh, yeah, Slave Lake, it's really good up there. Grizzly bears, though, and I got real sick this year going camping with grizzly bears. Amy, well, thank you so much for the beer money. We'll put that to good use. Some of it might go into a life jacket for our raft because we're going to do like a week on the river. And we're going to start from Edmonton. We got this platform. It's like, it's going to be 14 feet long by 8 feet wide. We got an 18 horse outboard on it. And we are going to start uh, from the city of Edmonton. We're going to go up the river until we either hit rapids or we run out of half our gas. Then we're going to turn around and come back. We're going to have a tent set up on it. We're going to have, uh, it's going to be fantastic. We have a little fire pit on it for propane fire and we'll just pull over, drop anchor, we'll have some cots on it. It's going to be an awesome trip. I'm really excited to, uh, to do that. That is, that is going to happen guys. So. Oh, planning coming to Spain. You know, I should probably go on like a camping trip, like around, and just, you know, meet up with some people. I don't know, uh, just at like some public campground. And, uh, but I've been so busy with work, etc. you know, gotta, gotta keep working, I guess, to, <laughs> pay the bills but uh, yeah hunker con would be pretty sweet and you just travel around hunker con that'd be a sweet job better than fixing furnaces I think I could do that that I could 90 minutes all right I have watched grizzly man oh man now that movie scared the crap out of me 
because I was camping in grizzly country. I used to be relatively careless when I camped and I was out in grizzly country with my friend and we watched the grizzly man. We found on YouTube the deleted scene of his death. It was fake, but it scared us so badly that we, we sat in the car all night with like the radio blasting and looking over our shoulders and yeah, we gave ourselves a phobia over these grizzly bears because we watched the horrific fake death of Timothy Treadwell. But yeah, no, that's uh, yeah, there's some people out there. I'm gonna have to be real quiet for just a second. people on the trail up there I'm sure they're not cops or anything but I don't want to uh, I don't want to freak people out or be considered a, a bum or a nuisance or something people on this trail close to me they've they've continued past and it's just people on the other side of the river so my light I'm gonna keep it on low white but that faces away from where they can see and, oh my sorry guys gonna take another bite of my burg here mm, delicious over cheesed beer burg mm, thanks guys There's some... The noises I'm expecting to hear most tonight is going to be the coyotes. And there's tons of them out here. Tons of them. Mm. Unbelievable. Okay, guys. I'm coming up to, thanks everybody. I, all these notifications came up for people following me on Instagram. I haven't really ever advertised it. It's always just been, you know, if people really want to get a hold of me, they find me on Instagram. But uh, I'm gonna update that more regularly with all these new Instagram followers. And, but I'm gonna shut this down at like 100 minutes. William B, thank you very much for the beer money. And uh, yeah. I work better with scripted, edited, well not scripted, but edited, edited videos where I can put stuff all together, but this has been fun. It's, uh, I'm camping alone here in the forest, but it sure doesn't feel like I'm alone. I got a ton of guys watching, uh, this is awesome stuff. It's, uh, people tell me I gotta liven up in my videos, but will work. I can't be, you know, I can't be as crass sometimes as I want to because I can tell a blue joke that'll peel paint, but I got people's kids that are watching on YouTube and that type of stuff, so I can't, I can't do that type of stuff. I need, uh, need to keep a little dry humor, a little bit, uh, implied humor, but, uh, no, I, I, well, thanks, guys. It's, uh, so new. Jonathan, thank you. Holy moly. It's, uh, dry is good. I like it dry. Humor. That's the best type, I think. And, uh, oh, man. 
let's let's do another cheers guys I don't know probably some of you are having a beer out there so cheers hmm no crickets out here tonight guys but they do happen in the um, in the summertime but it's so hard to sleep when the crickets really get going it's like a deafening loudness so fireball what yeah what's everybody drinking oh thank you xqnp7 I'm drinking an economical Saskatchewan brewed Saskatchewan seal skin bindings brewed brew house Pilsner it's economical and I don't mind the taste Rum IPA Jameson, good man. I have not had a good Jameson in a while. Crown and Coke. Buttermilk is a nice way to get to bed as well. Miller Light. Coconey. There we go. That's oh. Man, you guys are you guys are awesome. You I I look at some people's channels and I have to, every night I go to bed, I'm so thankful for the subs I have. I'm like, you know, people could be a lot more mean to me. Um, and they're not. So I thank you all for that. Some, some people really get roasted on YouTube in the comments. And for the most part, you guys do, you guys do, uh, you do send me awesome comments. And thanks, Eric. Uh, and, uh, we are going to, we're going to be wrapping this up here because it is pretty dark and pretty chilly and it's probably bedtime. I'm going to curl up. I'm going to give my beautiful wife a call and let her know that I love her and that I'm out in the forest and that I'm alive. I'm sure she's watching anyway. And uh, you guys, uh, again, thanks for watching. I got a lot of fun videos planned for this winter, like real fun videos. It's... Uh, it's going to be all winter camping mostly. Thanks, Brad. Uh, going to be mostly all, well, obviously winter camping. Going to be some real fun projects. Going to be some builds. Going to be some uh, all types of things. So it's uh, it's going to be cold. It's going to be cozy once I'm hunkered down. And yes, hunker down. This is... Okay. Apologies for that. Somebody called me. People can't help, but I'm winding it down anyways. The true, where Hunker Down actually came from was I had a friend who, it's odd that I use this as a catchphrase. He was uh, an alcoholic and he would try to not drink for a while. And I would say, you know what? Just stay at home, grab a cup of coffee, put something good on the TV and just hunker down and that was like recovery period or drying out and it sounds so cozy that I just started using it all the time just in my normal speech and then people were making fun of me so I just started using it more to bug them and uh, and now that's hunker down guys thanks for watching I know it's been a long hundred minutes if anybody's actually been watching for this whole hundred minutes but uh, thanks guys I'm going to sign out and until next time you're camping with steve and we're gonna have a lot more fun adventures coming up here in the future